Hi everyone, welcome back to Tales for English Fluency. Hello everyone, today, we're talking about something fun, celebrations and holidays. Do you have a favorite celebration? Maybe a birthday, a national holiday, or a religious festival? We all have special days we look forward to throughout the year. Today, we'll learn some vocabulary and talk about different traditions around the world. Celebrations come in all shapes and sizes. There are personal celebrations like birthdays, anniversaries, and graduations. We also have national holidays that celebrate a country's history or culture, like Independence Day or Thanksgiving. And don't forget religious holidays. These celebrations honor different faiths and traditions, like Christmas, Hanukkah, or Diwali. There are even global celebrations that bring people together from all over the world, like the Olympics or the New Year. Every celebration has its own special traditions. For birthdays, we might sing happy birthday and eat cake. On national holidays, people might have parades, fireworks, or special meals. Religious holidays often involve going to a place of worship, sharing stories, and spending time with family. Let's explore some specific traditions. In the United States, for example, Thanksgiving is a national holiday where families gather for a big feast with turkey, mashed potatoes, and pumpkin pie. In the UK, another English-speaking country, people celebrate Bonfire Night on November 5 with bonfires, fireworks, and a special food called treacle toffee. South Korea has a fascinating tradition for New Year's Day. Many people wear colorful, traditional clothes called hanbok and visit temples to pray for good luck in the coming year. Remember, these are just a few examples. Every culture has its own unique ways to celebrate. Ava, what's your favorite celebration tradition? That's a tough question. Christmas is definitely a highlight for me. It's a time to be with loved ones, exchange gifts, and decorate our home with festive lights and ornaments. There's a special feeling of joy and togetherness in the air. Birthdays are always special for me too. It's nice to be surrounded by friends and family who make you feel cared for and appreciated. I also enjoy the tradition of birthday cake and candles. It's a fun way to mark another year of life. Vocabulary review. All right, let's review some of the vocabulary we use throughout this conversation. Celebration, an event that is held to show happiness and enjoyment for a special occasion. Examples, birthdays, holidays, festivals, Holiday, a special day of rest or celebration that is commemorated by a country or community. Examples, Independence Day, Christmas. Tradition, a custom or belief that has been passed down from generation to generation within a community or culture. Examples, singing happy birthday, wearing hanbok. National holiday, a holiday that is officially recognized and celebrated by a particular country. Examples, Thanksgiving in the U.S. Bonfire Night in the U.K. Religious holiday, a holiday that celebrates a significant event or figure in a particular religion. Examples, Christmas, Hanukkah, Diwali, commemorate to remember and celebrate an important person or event. Festivities, the activities and celebrations associated with a particular holiday or event. Examples, parades, fireworks, gift giving, feast, a large and elaborate meal often associated with a celebration. Examples, Thanksgiving dinner, traditional Korean New Year's meal, unique, special, and unlike anything else. Example, each culture has its own unique traditions. We hope this conversation has helped you learn some new vocabulary and explore the interesting world of celebrations and holidays. Remember, traditions connect us to our families, communities, and cultures. They can bring people together and create lasting memories. Do you have a favorite celebration tradition? Share it with us in the comments below. Thanks for joining us on Tales for English Fluency. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.